There are all kinds of reasons why players lose in the game of poker. Today, I'm going to give you my top six ranked reasons that people lose. If you cut these out of your game, you will boost that win rate. Let's get into it, starting with number six. A very common mistake for number six is playing too many hands out of position. There are several reasons why being out of position is a disadvantage to you. It is more difficult to bluff when you're out of position. You have less information than your opponent does. You have a very hard time controlling the size of the pot, and you're going to under-realize the equity of your hand because of all these disadvantages. That means you should try to limit your exposure to playing out of position. If you're at the table and you're trying to make the most, try to play those late positions, playing in the hijack, cutoff, and button. Late position is advantageous, it's more valuable, and you're gonna make the most money playing there. Number five on the list is when you rage and lose your mind. Tilt. We all do it at some point in our career, but often players that don't control their tilts or don't learn to control their tilt have two games. They have their A game, which they might work on a ton, and then they have their B and C games, which they usually skip over B and go straight to C on tilt. So B is like, ah, maybe I'm a little tired, maybe I'm a little bit off. C is, I'm playing like a monkey, I'm upset, I can't control myself, I'm out for revenge! The big takeaway from this, it doesn't matter how good your A game is if you can never play your A game, or too often you play your C game. It's very hard to be a winning player if your mind is just ah! rage and <laughs> seeing red. Don't do that. Mistake number four, not value betting enough rivers. If you don't value bet rivers because you're scared of an unlikely draw that's come in, or you're concerned that you no longer have the absolute nuts, now you have the second nuts. I better check in case they have the nuts. You don't want to be playing this way. You're going to miss out on so many chips. See, when we play preflop, the pot is small. On the flop, it's still fairly small. By the turn, it's getting bigger. By the river, there are the most chips. So when you bet half pot on the flop, it's a very small number of big blinds. When you bet half pot on the river, it's a very large number of big blinds. And that's because your pot is growing all the way throughout the hand. So your biggest decisions and your biggest potential to make money is on the river. If you check these spots back, if you don't get paid when you should, you're missing out on a ton of value and you're costing yourself a ton on your hourly rate. Value bet your rivers and be willing to bet. Find out that you're not good and fold. Mistake number three is actually very similar to mistake number four, calling too often on the river. So why is calling on the river a problem? Well, we just talked about not too many people value bet rivers. One of the big mistakes players make is they don't value bet the river enough. Therefore, when you have a medium hand and someone is betting into you, they probably have a very, very strong hand. And one of the biggest mistakes that you'll see is that that player is so curious that even though they know they're beat, they must confirm that the player is not bluffing. Now, again, we talked about the compounding effect. These river bets are enormous. So when you're wrong and you're wrong consistently, you're gonna be losing a very large number of chips on these rivers. We don't wanna be doing that. Find some folds, find some discipline. Mistake number two. This mistake is really common and it's cold calling. Let's define what cold calling is. So you'll see it often in a game where there's a limp, just someone who calls, and then a raise, and then a player behind is gonna go ahead and call. Now that's a cold caller, okay? They weren't involved in the hand, but now they are going to get involved by just calling. Here's why that's a disadvantage to you. When you cold call, you're capping your range. What does that mean? It means you're taking out the absolute best hands that you should have in your range and saying, I don't have those, because if you did, you would raise. So you're saying, my hand is like a medium strength hand, so you know where you're at. And then more players are incentivized to call behind you because now they're getting such a good price based on your call. There's a raise, then a call. By the time it gets around to them, they don't have to be good that often. And especially at low stakes, players like to see flops, so they're going to call. So you end up on more multi-way flops, you don't have the betting lead. It's much harder to bluff because you have multiple opponents and you're representing like a medium strength hand. And then even if you do hit your hand, you have less information and it's hard to know exactly where you're at, difficult to navigate. So this is not something you wanna be doing. For the most part, when someone raises in front of you, it is better to three bet or fold, though occasionally, yes, you can sprinkle in these calls. Well, there's five out of your six, and that brings us to number one. The reason that most players lose at the poker table is they're just not 
patient. They want the game to be exciting, gambly, fun, and interesting at all times, and so they can't sit back and fold. If you can't find that patience to fold and wait for good hands in good positions, you're going to be a losing player. That patience will pay off for you. Your opponent gets impatient, plays the bad hand, you play the strong hands, and in the end, strong hands are going to beat out the weak hands more often than not. So just learn to be patient. Yes, that's a simple thing for a number one, but it's probably the biggest mistake you see, especially from new players at the poker table. Those are your top six mistakes that players make. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like and a sub. I hope I'll see you again. Thanks for being here. Have a great week.